Asule Douglas Bender. Uh, we're back in action. It's your way brought to you by Bender Bookings. Today, <laughs> I met a guy I call a very unique name. I won't say it until you introduce yourself. <laughs> it's only me who knows that oh, name. Oh, God. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, woo. Okay. Yes, boss, introduce yourself, please. Uh, my name is Kevin Tima. Come on, name Kevin Tima Mugisha. Kevin Tima. Mugisha, Kevin Tima Mugisha. <laughs> uh, I don't call him Tima. I'm going to tell you after he's done introducing himself. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh God, uh, that don't, name. I'm don't thinking about until, it. I'm thinking about don't it. Don't laugh until you're going to spill the beans. Mm. Oh, like I said, Kevin Tima Mugisha. Mm. Um, 27. Yes. Uh, I'm an actor. I've been in the business since 2014, so that makes it three to three to four years. Three, I'm making four this year. Yes, uh, I call this guy Kaima because at first he writes his Kevin in a funny way, K E V Y N, right? Yeah. And then he has Tima, which me to me doesn't make more sense. <laughs> so putting a Kevin with a Y together with the team, I ended up calling him Kaima because I failed to pronounce their names. So, I to me... I forgive him, I forgive him, it's all good. <laughs> to me, he is uh, Kevin Kaima. <laughs> so, Kevin Kaima, finally you got a name to call him. Uh, you can, if you don't know how to call him Kevin or if you don't know his name and you beat him on the way, yeah, you can just shout, Kaima! Ah, no, to respond. I'm not going to respond. <laughs> Best belief, I will not respond. <laughs> He's it's joking, not a I know. Uh, He's joking. Uh, if he uh, refuses to respond, you take him to Cafe Javas. Oh, you sort it yes. out. We are good. <laughs> you love food, eh? I'm a foodie. It shows, by the way. Your eyes show. That's my middle name, Kevin Foodie. Uh, Your eyes show. show. You know you have big eyes? Is that a, is that a compliment? No, I'm just saying, like, like you have big eyes. Really? Uh, on a big eyes you know, for, you know, like, for like, Balangida. You know, like eyes of a cow. Eh? <laughs> Have big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, we shall save that for the next episode. Uh, so, Kevin, the biggest question you've been here for four years. Three, four, three, three years. years. Yes. Let's say uh, three, three going to three. Yeah, three, three, three going to four. Three going to four. Uh, I've seen many actors, they come around, uh, they, they perform for one week, even one day, one gig, mm. and they run out of the business. Having survived or lived in the business for more than three years, it means you have a style, you have a way, you have you have your own way or technique by which you survive in the business. Uh, why why you're here today is basically to inspire, motivate, and show someone that actually you can survive in this business. How have you been able to survive? How have you been able to survive in this business for three years? Um, I'll answer that with a story. Yes. In 2014, when I decided to get uh, to enter into acting, mm. I went wherever there was an audition. One, my way is availability. I guess many people can testify to that. Uh, that every time I'm called, I try to be available. Yes. So every time I had of an audition, I, had, I made sure that I was there. In fact, in my very first year, I did audition more than 30 times. More than 30. Every time I had an audition, I wanted to be there because, in respect of how talented you are, yes. if you're not available, yes. you're not going to be considered. Yes. So I always wanted to be available every time. I think that has been my major, my, my major. That's, way. that's been my way. Okay. I always want to be available okay. when you call upon. So, okay. so you don't let you don't let opportunities just pass by. No. No, no. When you see it, you jump to it. Yes. When you see it, you run and go and get it. Uh, how do you know that could be the turning point of I know, right? So, know, right? Uh, there's a project that I think one of them that I, I did just like that. Mm. They called me. Of course, everybody knows he had my date. Yes. I, I was called last minute. As, as I told there's an audition. I got to know about like around three. Mm. I was in Nyonyo. Yes. I came for the auditions. And the rest you is made history. It. The you rest made is it. history. Yeah. You're one of the. I think you're one of the leads. Yeah, I was. Like, wow, because when I looked at the poster, your your, your picture, your image was bigger than anyone else. Yeah, we're you were actually the the young man did. <laughs> <laughs> you were almost the tree. Kind of. Hell no. Yeah, no, no, no. You were the not. big tree. Uh, you see, it's yeah. very important. I've realized recently. You know I do the castings and all that, and uh, I usually share information about castings. But I've realized that recently, most of the actors 
a slow at grabbing opportunities. Someone posts something, you know those days like you would post something or find a post. I mean, me, some of my first auditions, I got them on these posters on the roadside. You know those actors needed? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, like, I've seen them. I would meet them, I was like, man, this might be my opportunity. This might be my, the ch- like you have said, turning point. True, true, true. And then I just picked the number and called. I just so you know, uh, my very first time, I used to make sure I pass by the National Theatre every, every single day. Exactly, right. And look at the notice board. Maybe there could be something. That's why I attended very, very many. You see, it's very important. I love your way, actually, something probably I'd never thought about. You know, the availability that, how many times actually do you actually run for auditions always the first question that actors ask is like who are they who is the producer and then what has it done before uh, um, i mean you know uh, it, it, it battles eh? uh, this is what i believe in yes i believe there's nothing there's only one thing that starts from the top going down which is that is a grief have you had have you had it's only one thing you it's only a grave that starts from the top going down but the rest and you know where the grave and leads to i know it's everything starts from down heading up so before you meet Castle douglas bender who have you met that is what i believe in growth you know before a child runs they crawl before they uh, they, they sit first yeah. they crawl then they, 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 yes. they, they, do they try to try yeah. the moving yeah. yes. They walk and finally run. Yes. That is what I believe in. I believe in growth. They never start with running. Exactly. I believe in growth yes. from from zero till whatever. The sky uh, is the limit. You have given us a lesson. I, I have also learned. Uh, I mean, opportunities are all over the place. True. But the point is, are you ready to go for them? Avail, avail yourself and maybe you don't know where it might lead you. Right. The guy you think is a nobody today as a director or a producer, might be a guy who knows someone who is going to produce the next biggest project. Nevertheless, they could they would be there at that time, but they will not be there five, ten years from now. That's even too much. So it, his first project might be a hit. It, it, uh, no, it, the first one may be shit even. Or even the first one may be hit. Hmm. Who knows? So why not avail yourself and give uh, yourself that opportunity to be available every time you need it? All right. Uh, Kevin Kaima. <laughs> thank you very much for being pleasure. here for us. And I uh, thank you very much for teaching us something. It's been your way, and we sign out. <laughs>